Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just Damn. about ready Woo, for action. Man, it's too late. I should have never did this. I should be in bed right now. But yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? It's your fucking boy. Right it's now. your boy, Punch of Valid. Back at the game for the YouTube Look video. And there he is, folks. Teddy Bowman making his way to the ring. Really need no introduction. The world over. He truly represents some of the finest boxing skills a game has ever seen. The power for power Zim Boxing Dre. Oh, oh. Forgot to take out that. With My opponent, makes it three times. Got an outstanding of record of 219 attention. wins and uh, 105 losses. I think that's what I just saw right there. Not the best record. I swear my man's record was, uh, yeah. Could have sworn it was a little bit better than that. But that's the point of this video right here. So this right here was a great sim fight. I don't get to bring you guys too many of these because there's not that many of y'all in this fucking game, which is sad to say. But this guy right here, Mason, three times is a hell of a fighter. He brought me a great fight right here. He brought his fucking A game. And it was just a beautiful fight to watch. Like, it was one of the more competitive fights I've been in in a long time. And, you know, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't guess that looking at his record at first glance. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you would think he was probably like a B-class fighter or whatever. But, uh, yeah, now nah, Mason's definitely a hell of a fighter. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to bring this you guys this fight to inspire y'all, you know, to... To box on on his, on his very old game. Uh, yes, we still encourage you guys to play it because we don't have no other boxing game. So we all on this bitch. So for the time being, we can still play the game correctly. We can still promote some boxing. We can still do what we can to change these people's mindsets and what they do out here. But, yeah, nah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this fight. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check out uh, right now. Like I said, it's late as hell where I'm at, and I got work tomorrow, so I'm gonna holler at y'all. Consistent punch in the building. Uh, in the building. Damn, bro. I thought. I could, uh, excuse me. Consistent puncher in the building. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next video, and yeah. Punch combo by Iron. Very accurate with the overhand right. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something that's you got to start like early to and stay with. Nice. Here we go. Round two is underway. Double jab by Iron. Hit the body. Get inside, get inside. Let it go. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Fires nailed by a huge uppercut. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Nice work with the uppercut. Bowman's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. He just missed that shot on top. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all the punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they control deep, but they control the short patterns. They control the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. Nice job doubling up the jab by Iron. 
and clicks of the top. <laughs> the ghost's putting forth an effort. Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. Nice work with the combination by the Ghost. Step, step. Stay right. away from those. Come on. A good block. The Ghost so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. That's what I want to see. Good block by the ghost. Keep moving. Keep moving. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Scored well to the head with the right hand. He wouldn't give it to him. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Wow, is he defensively sound? Countdown the final moments of this round. Able to dismiss it. And that's the end of round three. Coleman's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Blocks that punch. And a strong offensive showcase. The combination by the Ghost. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Seconds to go in round number four. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Not able to land the headshot. He tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. from his opponent, well blocked by the Ghost. The Ghost putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Keep moving! Gotta see those coming! Not winning, and you're not losing, Keith. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Good block. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay.
Bucks. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Scores up top with a left. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. after catching one by iron. Good way to protect the midsection. And the old one-two by iron. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. What a good war this has been. What a good... Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been... A very even fight. Very nice defensive guard there. Really frustrating his opponent now. Iron so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Use the ring, use the ring. Keep your body moving. Scored well with that straight left. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Keep your back up the rope, keep your back up the rope. Stick back to the body. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. You got this. One, two, one, two. Bowman's missing the mark by a mile. That just looks nowhere to be found. Solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that? Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. Iron's going to try to keep things going in this direction. He has dominated the action all night long. Still not moving enough. Move. That's a forceful two punch combo by the Ghost. Sends that right to the head. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. At the halfway point of round seven. There's the combo downstairs. Blocks it away. Super jab by the ghost. 
Bowman's doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use the jab, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. And round seven. This has turned out to be a good-looking fight. Teddy, I think it's clear to see that Bowman's in control of this fight. He's up on your scorecard, as we can see. But it's been a tough night. Yeah, and it's also clear to see that his opponent has a chance to come back because he has been competitive every bit of the way. by the ghost tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark the halfway point of round number eight Keep working the body nice block by Bowman come on keep walking keep moving keep moving oh you see him with the left of the head there Blocked by the ghost. Move. Bowman's got a way of just getting away from that punch. The ghost putting forth a game plan of being a volume puncher. But Teddy, he's not landing a lot of these punches. What kind of effect can that have on this fight? Well, he can get frustrated a little bit, and hey, he might not win the fight. He can have that kind of effect. Is that effective enough? Took a shot, now he gives a left. Yeah. Bowman's in control of this Bowman. fight. Why? Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Oh, Bowman's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. To the head he goes with a left hand. Finish with a hook. on the two-punch combo by Bowman. Halfway through the ninth round. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. That's a good left hand by Bowman. Nice defense. Good block by the Ghost. Keep moving. Keep moving. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. And that does it for this round. 
Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. <laughs> Oh, he just misses with that headshot. The ghost's blocking ability is doing well for him there. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Effective work with that flush overhand right. The ghost's eye is now cut. That could be a real detriment. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Good job staying away from the danger there. What an excellent two-punch combo by Iron. Cheek is cut, and you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. A stinging uppercut by Bowman. Good look at right hand after he got hit. The ghost's got a real problem on his hands now, Teddy. I think the cut is actually worsening around his eye. He has to do a better job of watching out for that. He has to protect that eye. Yeah, what he has to do now he is give his quarter man, his cut man, in. a chance for his work to be accomplished. In other words, there's been coagulants, chemicals put into that eye. Now he'll the fight. I think he's got a great understanding of where he is right now in this fight. Round number 11, and your scorecard has it dead on accurate. He has been controlling this all night long. And all he has to do is keep doing the same thing. Keep punching too, but make sure that you're covering fast all the fundamentals. Don't give him an opportunity. Resourceful one G combo by both. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Good block there by the Ghost. Blocks a shot and then does nicely to work on his own. Just not there, straight right hand off the mark. Jab, uppercut, both upstairs. He got hit, oh, now the uppercut. Iron's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Bowman's clearly committed to the strategy of footwork, of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires, and he's making sure that he's using them. He's spinning them around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight back, you can always time him. They both decide to bring it. The ghost's nose is now starting to bleed. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Iron. He gets to him with an uppercut. Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, look, crashes home. Find out exactly what he's made of. Accurate with the straight left. And this round comes. They meet up one more time. The last round has arrived. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Iron's doing well here with that two punch combination. Blocks that belt line well. there but he also gave one solid effort by iron doubling up the jab by iron able to get away from that headshot with the block iron's combination punching
Rising working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Bowman's jab lands well. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Solid right. He is damaged that. What a big shot. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown, but Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Iron's gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. Well, you should lose your judge's license if you have it any other way but the obvious here, Teddy. Yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a wanted poster, but you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer. Bowman's dominating performance gets the payoff with the decision.